And now I present to you James B. Madonna and the Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. Okay, we're here. Welcome to Progressive Discussions. I'm your host, James P. Madonna of Progressive Discussions and Mega Life 21, the hardest hitting internet talk radio station on the planet. And um, it is Saturday afternoon. It is the, uh, I guess it w it's still the beginning of October 2015. Yeah, it's not the middle yet. Uh, my favorite month, October. Uh, mm -hmm. And I would like to introduce my co-host and mentor and the founder of Newsletter Censored uh, in 1977, the uh, Reverend Dr. William J. Eisenman. How are you feeling this week, sir? Tired. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm tired and quite aggravated uh, by different things, but, uh, you know, some days are smooth and some days are not and uh, I would say 99 well no not really not about 95 percent of most problems are people induced they're they're caused unnecessary they're avoidable problems caused by humans humans with uh, things like emotions like uh, selfishness uh, ego uh, vanity, people having, uh, they need to be right, they need to, uh, like I was debating with Bill Morrow, uh, uh, William H. Morrow III was insisting, ah. insisting that it's a it's a lie that of, uh, uh, Vladimir Putin is, is bombing the hell out of ISIS. Don't trust that man, it's a lie, it's a lie. I says, you just believe in American uh, a mainstream media propaganda that that, that Putin is uh, bombing uh, 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 anti-Assad uh, rebels or something. I don't know what he said. But I says, how do you um, know he's not bombing the shit out of uh, bombing the hell out of ISIS? He he probably is, and 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 I give him two thumbs up for doing it. Well, he's probably bombing the hell out of the anti-Assad forces too, because he is he is aligned with Assad. Now, they have agreements. Uh, now, I, I'm not sure who the good guys or the bad guys are. That's correct. In I mean, this world. I mean, is Assad the good guy? No. He's a bad guy. He has killed his people. Where do you think all these refugees you are mean, coming you from? You mean that, 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 that slim man in a good-looking suit that's very mild-mannered when he speaks? With a big, goofy head. The, he speaks so uh, mild manneredly and gently. He, he, he's, he, he's a murderer? He's a dictator! And who the heck. Is, well, we know ISIS are not the good guys. Uh, no. But Americans seem to believe that uh, the U.S. are always the good guys. <laughs> you know, like Bill Morrow, because he's. His father was uh, Republican and anti-union, and he was a, a IBM executive, and he believed everything his father told him. I says, don't you realize that the history books we have as we grew up were full of lies and partial truths? He says, yeah, that, that is that is a possibility. Yeah, uh, but well, why do you um, why do you automatically assume the United States government? Is are the good guys, the heroes, the godly ones, the uh, the right ones, the you know what I mean? Like the, I says, you don't believe in the corporate oligarchy uh, at all, you know, fascism, or, you know. Uh, the, no, no, he just won't accept the fact that he has been lied to, like we have as we grew up. Neither does the Republican Party. So, you know, my my um, my grandfather was kind of ahead of his time when I was a kid. My grandfather was a democratic socialist, and he used to tell me many things that we discuss now. Uh, God rest his soul. And um, you know what? I don't believe I, I believe my uncle Phil with his conservative propaganda as as a as a teenager. And do you know why? Uh -huh. Do you know why? Because Uncle Phil was the financially successful one in the entire family. Mm -hmm. He was financially independent. Mm -hmm. So everybody looked up to him 
because he had the degrees and he was he had the business his own business so they believed him when he was calling grandpa a commie pinko mm -hmm. but the commie pinko was right mm -hmm. he was right all you have to do is put on cnbc for about a couple hours and huh? then you'll see all that shit i salute therefore i salute uh, my grandfather also used to tell me about Edgar Casey and Jeannie Dixon, and he told me a lot of things. He was a pretty advanced guy for a, a man that wasn't a college a graduate, you know, and he was very well read. So I want to dedicate this show to my uh, late grandfather, uh, Mr. John Nicolosi. Hey. John Nicolosi, and... Uh, um, and that he was correct. He was uh, he was uh, uh, promoting and teaching me pretty much a lot of what Bernie Sanders talks about today mm -hmm. in his campaign. So I salute him. I want to say hello, greetings to my near dear friend in Osaka, Japan, Miho. Hello, Miho. Um, uh, Sash Boyle, my number one uh, Facebook group administrator. Mr. Ken Thiessen, uh, personal trainer and former WWE superstar, I say greetings to you. Uh, I started a new group on Google called Progressive Discussions because I'm getting uh, I'm getting pretty sick and tired of the drama and the nonsense that I encounter on Facebook. I really am. But unfortunately, the Google group is you can't doll it up you can't customize it you know with a with a fancy cover and a background and this and that it's all content it's boring as shit it's a hundred percent content with no aesthetics come on google you're a big company allow people to doll up their group you know what i mean allow them to doll it Everything we talk about politically is part of our series, Capitalism in a Conch Shell. There's the conch. And everything you've heard about trickle-down economics was a lie. It was never meant to work. What we have is siphon up to the top 20% and then the 1%. Economics. Siphon up economics, the devil's economics, not God's economics. That's a siphon, by the way. Okay, now let us sink our teeth. Oh, before we sink our teeth into these readings, because I know we're... be a Democratic debate on Tuesday. They're way behind schedule. You're kidding. No. Nope. Bernie Sanders? Yep. And, and, and those other miscellaneous guys? Mm-hmm. Uh, 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 and, and, and Hillary? Yeah. Really? Oh, I have to watch this. Mm-hmm. What time do you think it starts? Probably nine. Oh, this is going to be good to watch Hillary uh, uh, slip Cap up dance. slip up and sound corporatist. Cap dance. She's against the TPP now. Yeah, now she's a flip-flopper. Yeah, yeah. Hillary is a flip-flopper. She reminds me of... Um, she put her finger up to the wind and she, saw the way it was blowing. Blowing against the TPP. So she's like a chameleon. Chameleon. So she Did, went against Barack Obama and the TPP. Well, I'm surprised Barack Obama went with the TTP. Which I'm not. Hey, <laughs> corporate. Well, corporate, baby. Barack Obama, uh, he has proven to be corporatist, without That's a doubt. Uh, just like at the Billerys, Hillary correct. and Bill. And uh, um, what's his name? Um, Secretary of State John uh, Kerry, the man who wants to arrest Edward Snowden. Mm -hmm. he, I'm sure he's a corporatist too. Mm -hmm. As well as many sellout Democrats. Uh, um, I used to say dummycrats, but I think they're smarter than we think. Democrats who have sold out and are corporatists. You know, and, and plus o Obama, instead of targeting the enemy and wiping them out like Vladimir Putin does, he is more in favor of the uh, the drone attacks where uh, you have uh, innocent civilians dying, the collateral damage. 
Um, but anyway, um, yes, definitely watch the debate. I will. Hillary, uh, I tell you, Hillary has that NASCAR jacket just like the others do with all the corporation logos all over it. Mm -hmm. She's in bed with Monsanto, the most evil company that ever existed. Uh, Exxon Mobil. So, you know, but there are, but the feminists out there are obsessed with putting a woman in the White House. There are people like the uh, the ugly, very annoying Ellen DeGeneres. Mm. She, she's uh, she's a, a Hillary uh, g a gal, and uh, you know uh, she's um, she's she's acting like a typical f feminist lesbian. She wants a woman in the White House. Period. Period. No other logical reason. She just wants a woman to be president. So, uh, oh, so I, 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 I didn't watch the video of the, uh, apparently it looks like Donald Trump hired some uh, Hispanic woman to get up and jump up and down and say, yippee, I love Donald Trump, <laughs> to make himself look good to the Latinos. Hmm. You know, Donald Trump is a showman. He's, um, many things are staged. But of course, uh, Billy Morrill's friend John. The uh, isn't it funny? He, he was a he's a he was a Longshore Union member his whole life, but he's a Republican. Mm. I'm trying to figure that out. A Union man being Republican. Well, it's not hard to figure out. You see it all the time. There's some there's a uh, a post comes up on Facebook all the time. Uh, I'm a poor slob, but I I vote for billionaires. Oh, like that Joe the Plumber jerk? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I remember him. Yeah, so John says, oh, no, no, no. There were 30,000 people sh uh, showing up for uh, Donald Trump's rally. Don't believe what you read. Those are the Democrats lying. I said, 30,000? I said, you must be thinking of Bernie Sanders. <laughs> he goes, oh, no, it was Donald Trump. They just don't tell you all the people uh, waiting to get in. You know, people standing outside and standing room only. What do you think? You think Donald Trump is getting that many people? No, he's getting a lot of people for a Republican, but you know, not not that many. No, you. I said you. You have to be thinking of Bernie. You know that uh, they have to get a bigger venue for him. Because yeah. they, you know, hey man, you know what? They believe what they want to believe. They they want to blame everything on the immigrant of color. They want to blame everything on the poor folk, the poor folk this and the poor folk that, and you know, and blah blah blah. And they never acknowledge the real moochers, which are the fat cats and the elitists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the true moochers. So. Yeah. Anyway, let us sink our teeth into these readings. Let's see what time it is, because certain individuals, probably uh, led by Beelzebub, Beelzebub, caused me to get here late. Okay, so we have a half hour before lunch. Okay, with okay. all the uh, with all these shootings going on lately, I thought I'd just add this little thing here. An 11-year-old boy has been charged with murder after he killed his 8-year-old neighbor. Little girl, yeah. And witnesses say it was because the girl wouldn't let him see her puppy. So we have a bunch of sociopathic uh, little kids running around America today, huh? Well, obviously, America. they need a little anger management to con uh, control, don't they? Even our children. Yeah, but actu actually, adults, actually, but actually, actually carrying out carrying out of the murder for something as trivial as not seeing a puppy, you know, uh, uh, it seems like uh, uh, little boys turning into monsters today is proof that the modern day uh, parenting doesn't work. Well. You know, where, you, where your, your child is an equal and you have to negotiate with them. No, it doesn't work. Deputies were called to the neighborhood in White Pine, about 40 miles east of Knoxville, Tennessee, 
Ah, on Saturday a night. Red, a red state. The boy shot the girl from inside his home with his father's 12-gauge shotgun. Wow. 12 gauge shotgun and the, the little girl was eight years old. Correct. Um, he apparently knew how to use it. Yeah, apparently, huh? <laughs> uh, 11 year old kid knew, well, how, to, he knew how to use it. How to, you know, use it without anger. That's a that's big. That's a big gun for e for even an adult to to master. But here you have an eleven year old boy. Yeah, and they, I wonder what the kickback did. The kickback throw him into the next room or and, what? Yeah, an eleven year old boy in a gun toting uh, NRA red state. Yeah. He sure knew how to use that big old gun, that mm. twelve gauge shotgun. So I think he got a little got a little training there, coaching from from some redneck teabagger father. Mm. A 4,800 pound Ten Commandments monument that had been ordered off the grounds of the state capitol oh, God. was installed outside the offices of a private conservative think tank on Thursday after it was removed from state property under the cover of darkness and with at least two dozen state troopers standing by. The move ended a long culture war in which state lawmakers tried to save the monument, but in the end only opened the door to other groups, including Satanists and the Church of the Flying Spaghetti. Excuse me? Monster. The Church of the Flying Sp Spaghetti Monster, yeah. Spaghetti Monster? What's Why, you got something against that church? What's a spaghetti monster? Who cares what it is? It's a legitimate church. And it has the right to put its monuments on state property also. What about the, uh, the, the, the Church of the Fonzie from the Family Guy cartoon? He created a... Well, he that created too. A, Well, there was a satire against all these churches and cults. So he created the Church of the Fonz. Every when everybody goes, you know, they all go, hey, mm. yeah, mm. Like the mm. Fonz, hey, you know, before the, the the uh, the mass starts or whatever you want to call it, yeah. They have pictures of uh, Al Molinaro and Potsy and uh, okay, <laughs> Richie Cunningham, uh, uh, Tom Bosley. You know, they're all photos around. Yeah, they were making fun of all these cults. Hey. And they're all tax exempt, pal. The Church of the Fonz. Hey. Okay. <laughs> they're all tax exempt. You see, oh, now what's with that, uh, what the hell is her name from Florida? Uh, I thought she was real progressive. Ann Barrett? The last name is Barrett. I put up the, um, the banner on the uh, Uncensored Hard Hitting Truth a Facebook group about they show somebody living in a dilapidated house uh -huh. paying taxes and then they show a mega it looked like a super mega church that pays no taxes and then she says well you know churches really should be exempt not if they're 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 profit you know they're greedy mega churches joel osteen should not be exempt none of them should be exempt what is it about people in the south they 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 come across as being progressives, but they're not a hundred percent progressive. Hey. Why? Why should a mega church be exempt from paying taxes? It shouldn't. They but the tax system believed that they were doing society good, goodwill. So that's what they've done. They they gave them a break. Because right, they control the population. The savage beat. Who knows what it is? It's, it's religion is a good thing. That's all. That's uh, how they feel. Apparently, even the cults. Even the spaghetti monster, the flying spaghetti monster. You uh, legally? Can I ask you a question? Legally, the Church of uh, the National Church of Satan are they? Yes. Are, they are they exempt from? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, absolutely, anyway, well, absolutely, like he's happy about it here, this guy. Uh, I'm not happy about anything like that. Absolutely. I'm saying what is. 
Yeah, and it is. And it is what is. Yeah, that's what it is, and it shouldn't be. But it is, isn't it? So we now these are little things that we should work on. But we don't. So we can call. We can start a cult and, and come up with some cockamamie name and. That's correct. And re what do you do? You register it with the county or something? You got to well. You got to get a watcher it for the goddamn. Uh, you know. <laughs> The tax, uh, uh, well, you got to fill out. Well, status, absolutely. But, but there are certain criteria to, to prove. Yes, you're not supposed to involve yourself in politics if you're a kind of church. But they do it all the time. Yes, they do, don't they? Because the Republicans are in charge of the, the House. So, in other words, the law only applies to people that are not right wing. It doesn't apply to them. Or to whomever we want to force it against, like maybe Eugene Debs back in the day, when he was thrown in jail because he was a socialist, a socialist in America. It's ma oh. under the uh, 1917 Espionage oh, the, Act. The, oh, the demonized socialist. Okay. Yeah. I've so had. it's the same thing with John Kerry, like you said before. He wants to use the law against Mr. Snowden and put Mr. Snowden in jail. That but Mr. Snowden is a hero. Mr. That doesn't belong Mr. in jail. Mr. Snowden put the uh, the United States Constitution first, and he did his job. And it's people. And his oath that he took. It's to people protect against enemies, yes. both foreign and domestic. Yeah. All right. Isn't that sort of how the oath goes? Yes. Yes. I have pomegranate peel. We, the my... people. Yeah. He chose over we, the House of Representatives, we, the Senate, we, El Presidente. No. He chose we, the people, to be informed right. of what your government was doing to you. He's kind. He's kind of like a like a young Bernie Sanders sort of. Yeah, he was. You know, do, it's called doing the right thing. Anyway, I have pomegranate peel in my medicinal tea. I've read so many wonderful things about pomegranate peel. Anyway, all these other <coughs> religious organizations, and everything wanted permission to erect their own monuments on the Capitol grounds. It's only yeah, fair. Well, where does it end? It's you'll, only fair, it'll, isn't it? It'll look, there'll be so many monuments, it'll look like a cemetery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll have statues everywhere. A lot of pigeons would be happy, though. As recently as July, Oklahoma Governor Mary Fallon oh, gosh. said the monument would stay put despite a state Supreme Court ruling that it violated the state's constitution ban on the use of public property to support any sect, church, dominate the d denomination, or system of religion. <coughs> Fallon said the court got it wrong. Nevertheless, nevertheless, workers began removing the monument late on Monday night. Well ahead of the court ordered removal date of October the twelfth. John Estes, a spokesman for the Office of Management and Enterprise Services, said the decision to remove the monu monument in the dark was made to avoid safety and security issues. We wanted it removed as quickly and safely as possible, with little interruption as we could, he said. We didn't want a disturbance that could have complicated the removal. Mm -hmm. The state paid the same group that installed the monument about $4,700 to remove it and install it outside the offices of the Oklahoma Council of Public Affairs a few blocks away. The six foot tall, three foot wide slab of stone mm -hmm. shaped into two tablets was financed privately and installed on the Capitol grounds in 2012. 
Does it actually have the Ten Commandments on them? Yes, they are written on there. Do, do they realize that people, people could not keep the law? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, it's almost impossible to keep the law. You know. Well, I don't know if it's impossible to keep the Ten Commandments. What's impossible about them? Name one law that's impossible. Well, apparently people are sinning at least at least yes, once. Yes, they don't keep it, but don't say it's you know it's not keepable. Of course, it's keepable. It was made so that it would enhance your life, so you wouldn't have problems in your life. Right. That's why God did it. Well, it also identifies and verifies what sin is. It, it tells it shows well, it tells people you what it is. It shows people what sin actually is. Sin is, as John said in the Bible, the transgression of the law. As simply as that. Well, and it separates. It's not wearing makeup. Separates you from God. The Satanic Temple had constructed a statue weighing about a ton to sit alongside the Ten Commandments monument if it were allowed to remain on public property. Oh, they want to put it alongside. Yeah. Oh, the ba the, the devil needs equal time. The Baphomet, uh, the Bas Basinet, the ba I forgot how the word is Baphomet. You yeah, mean the, for the baby? No, the Basinet. The goat, the goat, uh, the winged goat statue. Uh. Winged goat or winged horse? Pegasus. No, we're talking about the the image that history assu oh, ass the devil. assumes the devil. Yeah, what okay. uh, Satan looks like. Not when he was Lucifer, when he, you know, but he still has his rank. He's still an archangel. Yeah. Endlessly divided House Republicans pleaded with Representative Paul Ryan on Friday to rescue them from their damaging leadership vacuum. But the GOP's 2012 vice presidential nominee showed little appetite for the prestigious yet thankless job of Speaker of the House. Yeah, he didn't exactly quit voluntarily. <laughs> we're not talking about Boehner, we're talking about Paul Ryan. Oh, he, oh he's a... They want him to be Speaker. Oh, he's a douchebag. No shit! But that's the only one that they can all coalesce around. The Muppet face. Is Paul Ryan. Paul Ryan, yeah. The, but he, he doesn't want the job. No, because yeah. he, he doesn't want to be under a friggin' microscope by the whole house. Scrutinized for every little fucking thing he, he says. Even though definitely a right, far a far right winger. Well, yes, and he will please those 40 or 50 teabaggers. And that's what it's all about. Why do you think Mr. Boehner is going bye-bye? Because he can't get those people well, to do anything. Well, John they Boehner, don't want to do anything. John Boehner is is not as is not the only Republican that has admitted that the party has drifted too far to the right. There have been a few others uh, that admit that not only has it drifted too far to the right, but is going crazy. Ooh. Bat shit crazy. It's already been crazy, but now it's off the wall. Yep. The Wisconsin Republican, who is chairman of the Tax Writing Ways and Means Committee, his dream job, he has declared repeatedly, declined to comment as reporters chased him around the Capitol a day after Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy shocked his colleagues by withdrawing from the Speaker's race moments before the vote. Now, it may be just a rumor, but it is being said that Mr. McCarthy is having an affair with one of his uh, either staff or something of that nature. You know, my grandfather used to say, stiff prick has no conscience. Well, he is a stiff prick, that's for sure. Uh, it's a wonder Republican dicks work. Hold on. Okay. 
The levity bells. Can These we... are, are authentic old-fashioned jingle bells, by the way. How many kids on your block have this? Do you know that the Mongolians ride on reindeer? Yeah, well, the, the Scandinavians, it's a caribou. A reindeer is a caribou. It, uh, the, the Scandinavia, Northern Scandinavians and, and yeah, Mongolians, yeah, they domesticated them for, uh, they're like chuchos. You know, yeah. they're uh, like donkeys. They, yeah, you ride them, they, they, they carry the stuff. They don't, yep. fl they don't Pack fly. Animal. Pack animal. They don't yeah. fly. That was the bullshit coming from what? American reindeer re don't fly. Well, you believe? How the hell does Santa Claus a sleigh get in? You believe in? that Z all that Zionist American retail industry crap about Rudolph and just again? Yes, Santa I do. I used to sing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer that's to in get, my church. That's just to get you to spend money around that time of the year. It's not even Jesus's birthday. Are you familiar with? Are you familiar? With, are you familiar with uh, um, a a legend that is still uh, practiced in Germany called Krampus? It's a custom. Krampus is the uh, flip coin. I know the Krokenbush. No, Krampus is a demon. <gasps> that he's the flip side of Christmas. It's 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 almost like All Hallows Eve. Is to uh, all Saint, all Souls Day. It is the flip side, or Mardi Gras, is to Lent. For every uh, Christian celebrated Christian holiday, there is a, a flip side. Opposite, to it. yeah. Opposite. Krampus is like is, the Mass and Black Mass. Yeah. So and what they devil. they they yeah. tell their kids if you're not good, well, Krampus, all Krampus is coming to get your ass. Going to get your ass and pay you a visit mm. and take take you away somewhere in his lair. Mm -hmm. And torture you. McCarthy's abrupt decision came just two weeks after the current speaker John Boehner of Ohio announced his own plans I like to Krampus. resign. Seven bells for Krampus. At month's end, citing opposition from the small but strident block of hardcore conservatives who almost immediately turned on McCarthy. Really? Boehner's number two guy. Interesting. They didn't that, waste time turning on him, huh? No. That left Republicans in chaos. With a yawning void at the top of their leadership ladder. Even as they confront enormous fiscal challenges and budgetary deadlines. That could threaten a government shutdown. An unprecedented default in the months to come. So GOP lawmakers from Boehner and McCarthy on down turned to Ryan, 45, the only figure in the House seen as having the stature, wide appeal, and intelligence to lead Republicans out of the mess they are in. I think I think they're 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 so deep in quicksand that they only have their nostrils above. Sand. He'd be an, an amazing speaker, McCarthy declared. Amazing. To a bank of TV cameras after Republicans met behind closed doors to discuss their predicament. I wouldn't call any Republican amazing. I, w I would call them maybe less evil and less corrupt than the other Republican. You know, but not, not amazing. But he has to got, he's got to decide. Said Representative Lynn Westmoreland of Georgia, himself a potential candidate for the job, he's the only guy who can unite us right now. Oh, their pain is my pleasure. Not long after Ryan rushed out of the Capitol, refusing to talk to reporters, with Congress heading into a week-long recess. Another one. Another no, one. Another vacation. It's funny how they have these alternative, alter, alternate words for um, for all their little little perks and pleasures. You know, like recess. Congress is in recess. Yeah, they're taking a big break, man. Big coffee. Big long coffee break. You know what they call. 
You know what they call a a uh, a bunch of baboons, don't you? Congress of baboons. Like Congress, that's correct. Yeah, yeah that, that band has been around for a while. <laughs> but it happens to be true. You know. Anyway, he's going home to Janesville, Wisconsin. To his wife and young family. I'm sure Paul Ryan is buddies with uh, Scott Walker. Ryan spokesman Brendan Buck said... Chairman Ryan appreciates the support he's getting from his colleagues, but is still not running for speaker. Mm -hmm. Why not? Possible reasons include the presidential ambitions <clears throat> he may well still harbor. Yes, yeah, sure. That does, is, is, it means a raise in salary, right? Correct. Oh, so. Uh, Mr. Boehner uh, gets over 200 pounds. Oh, gee, to obstruct. Obama for eight years. The Speaker's post, highly prestigious and second in line to the presidency, uh, no, I guess it is second. Vice President is first, then here, then the President pro tem of the our secret Secretary uh, of State is not number third. Number no, three. Mr. Haig was wrong under Reagan. When Reagan was shot, and he came out right away, I'm, I'm in charge, I'm in charge. Uh, uh. General Haig. Oh, well, you don't remember that? Yeah, but it's Were not... you too young in, in, in Reagan's day? Uh, I, was, I, was, I was just thinking about partying in the 1980s. Ah! In the 1980s. Partying ah. and girls. Ah. But Republicans were determined to do what they could do to get Ryan to reconsider. Representative Darrell Issa of California said he carried Ryan's gym bag for him Friday morning in an effort to persuade him to run. He carried his jock strap too? On his mouth. And Ryan even fielded a call from his presidential running mate, Mr. Mitt Romney. Oh God. The Mitten. Romney later issued an effusive statement declaring, Paul has a driving mission to get America back on path of growth and opportunity. Growth and opportunity? For who? To the top 20%? That's great. With Paul, it's not just words, it's his heart and his soul. His heart and soul is, is, pretty, is pretty involved in greed. No doubt about that. The clamor for Ryan dominated Republicans' interest while Democrats watched with a mixture of fascination and trepidation, concerned about the challenges just ahead for Congress. You know, the, the, the good thing about Republicans is it, it, it's not complex to figure them out and explain them. They're, they are very obvious, very easy to explain. Several Republicans were quick to warn that despite Ryan's popularity, he too could fall victim to the ferocious cross-currents that felled Boehner and blocked McCarthy's ascent. Yeah. The same people who wanted to take down John Boehner, who wanted to take down Kevin McCarthy, are going to want to take down the next guy, too, said Representative Charlie Dent of Pennsylvania. Charlie Dent, or does he come from a long line of auto body uh, 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 professionals? He's dead, that's all I know. I want to say a greetings to my friend in Portugal and master Indian club and Persian meal maker and old fashioned wooden toy maker for children, Helder. Love those wooden toys. Helder Chandra. Oh yeah, he he makes all the classics. He he's even a wooden top expert as far as like demonstration. You know, he like spins it and it's on his hand. It goes up his arm. It, uh, yeah, like you know, like the yo the yo yo competition. Yo yo man, the Duncan yo yos. I wish I had an old fashioned wooden butterfly Duncan yo yo. Wooden. It's probably worth some bucks. When I was a kid, I had one. And, and guess what? I saw the wooden tops in a dollar store 
the, the dollar zone in Saddlebrook and in different colors I should have got it because you don't see this in Toys R Us yeah. a wooden top with stainless steel tip tip absolutely but it, you know what sometimes you got to go with your gut when you see something you can't debate too much oh. because you never know if you're going to see it again anyway it's time for lunch break we're joining we're going to be joined with how to defeat a conservative bible verses and uh, uh william hamilton moral the third with promo and we'll see you for the balance of the show This is William H. Morrow. The best way to join our organization is to get your free annual subscription to Newsletter Censored with your gift to support this work. The newsletter of hard-hitting truth and news-fighting censorship and conservative propaganda since 1977. There is nothing out there like the newsletter censored in the mainstream media or the press. This newsletter is the very best way to join and be a part of our organization. We're living the end times, so you need Newsletter Censored. Go to www.newslettercensored.com. Hey, listen, for the real hard hitting truth, you need Newsletter Censored. And now, back to the show. Bye bye. Okay, we're back. We are back. Um, we are back from lunch, almost. Uh, oh, hi, oh, you sit. very important. Thank you. We are back from lunch. Yeah. And uh, thank you, William Hamilton Morrow, the third, for doing promo. Now, I was just telling Dr. Bill about this uh, article I was reading uh, concerning an interview of big pharma CEOs and his dad a photo of this big fat piece of shit big pharma CEO saying that our uh, priority is to shareholder profit not to helping the sick people get well and I had wrote down that they they if that's the case they should not call the, the this product that they make they should not call it medication they should just call it drugs because they are legal they are legal drug pushers is what they are mm -hmm. they are legal big pharma high-end drug pushers do not call any prescription drug a medication because medication comes from the word medicine right I don't consider it medicine if all you care about is shareholder profit, which CEOs always put the blame on the shareholder. Well, you can see that very blatantly with that I issue that came up the other day with that young punk 
who bought the rights to that uh, drug that only cost thirteen dollars and fifty cents and oh. boosted it up to seven hundred and fifty. He's just being a good businessman. Oh, you mean the former hedge fund manager? Yes. That that young punk yuppie looking guy was Gorilla or whatever with the, the hell douche, his name with is. the douchebag face. Yeah, yeah. He, uh, he he jacked up the HIV drug to over seven hundred dollars, normally thirteen dollars, I assume per pill. Thirteen per fifty capsule. per pill, yeah. Uh you know, like, I agree with William Morrow when he said, you know, when shareholders, which are usually um, uh, wealthy, spoiled people that are, that are demanding and must have their way and must and, 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 and just uh, demand things because they're spending their precious money, if they bitch and moan to the CEO, mm -hmm. I would say, you're buying a common stock which is supposed to be speculative. You're purchasing shares of stocks at risk. You, you must assume risk when you buy stocks. As a CEO, my loyalty is to put out the very best product that my company can put out and to my customers. My customers come first, not guaranteeing you shareholder profit you know well that's kind of back ass word as far as the stupid capitalistic system that we uh, honor today I mean it's true it's a security it's it's this common stock it's it's a, there's supposed to be inherent risk yeah well these rich uh, bastards who in uh, the, the investor class they don't want to assume any risk. Don't buy a stock. That's what Wall Street was all about. Get man. a bond. What Get. do you think the derivatives was all about? There's no risk with these things. Then buy blue chip bonds. They ended up being worthless. Buy blue chip bonds if you don't want to risk. No, there's not enough there's not enough interest paid on those. Not enough interest on the on the safest investment so, in the world today, the be, treasury bonds. Because, because they're they're wealthy okay. people or close to being or may, top 20% people, they demand uh, guaranteed profit when they buy shares of a corporation. They demand guaranteed profit. Oh, how special we are. Yes, I was just watching. Uh, they want a sure thing. They want the racehorse. That's correct. They want their racehorse to win by making sure the other jockeys hold back. That's not how life works. Mm -hmm. That's how America works. Yeah, America. America. Anyway, I was watching CNBC before, and of course they were down on unions, etc., etc., etc. And the unions, they're the things that are keeping us back from growing and from people investing, etc. Here we go, trickle down again. This crap goes on and on. You know what that is? That's old-fashioned Reagan trickle down. Yes. They're not the job creators, not in the U.S. But that's what they continue to sell and they to the stupid people that listen to and, them. And they continue to sell just like the, uh, the you read that article about about um, religious organizations being exempt from paying taxes, right? Yeah. That was before. I forgot to I forgot to show you the evangelical serpent <gasps> rearing its ugly head, taking up serpents like the counterfeit zealot phony Christians do, the right wing fundamentalists, taking up serpents. They're they just make up their own rules because yes. they have the money and they and they buy off people. That's simply all, all they do. And then they hold the Bible in this hand. Like Donald Trump, he's been waving the Bible. Not not that he reads it, but you know, he's been waving it. No, he can't he can't say one scripture. Take it up serpents. He he can't say one scripture from the Bible. How many can? Not that that makes you uh understand it. But you should at least know one. I mean, everybody, when they were young, 
learns the Lord's Prayer. But, you know, guys like uh, John, uh, Pastor John Hagee and Mike Huckabee, th these people... These people make up their own interpretations to suit the right-wing agenda. Oh, yeah. Pat Robertson. They have their own God. What do you think God is pissed at them for? Well, their 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 idolatry God yeah. is, is is money. As it's God not, says in the Bible, their gods can't walk, they can't talk, they can't do anything. Well, the God, the God that the Republicans claim to talk to all the time, <gasps> is not the God of the Bible. It's it's the other the other one, the God of this world. Mm -hmm. Corinthians four four. Uh, well, you know the big thing today now. There's uh, several books out, and I've seen uh, kid, someone else. Everybody's going to heaven today and coming back. Oh, that stupid uh, um, uh, Kevin Malarkey. Oh, that, that's an old one. There's a couple of new ones now. Oh, there's new ones? Now yeah. everybody's going to heaven and coming back. They're going to heaven and coming back. So not only do they see the white light, they go towards the white light, they enter it, they see others. They spirit. see Grandpa. They see. And then they come back. Could be, could be demons in disguise of Grandpa. Could be a bunch of bullshit. Because the Bible says, no one has gone to heaven except he who came down. And Weibel also said, remember Mr. Cam Camping? He continuously wanted to put a, a date on when Jesus comes back. But the Bible says no one knows except the Father. Well, this, somebody new is, is doing it now. Oh yeah. Somebody well, new is making the business end, ain't gonna falter, is it? End time predictions. Oh yeah. But the angels don't even know. So how do they know? Yeah. But people give them money. There you go. You know, Doctor Bill, this oatmeal is proof that you don't need any added sugar. The only thing I put in here besides the Himalayan pink salt and coconut oil organic virgin coconut oil. <coughs> the only thing I put in here is dried uh, dates and mangoes and it's 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 sweet. It's sweet man. I don't need any sugar. Now the American food industry has to sugar everything down. Sugar and salt. That's all we can taste. The American tongue. Right. That's and and, and toxic um, well, see, now a lot of foods are not putting trans fats in, <laughs> which is a good thing. But the sugar's got to go. I mean, I mean, the nutritional value of a dried papaya, mango, dates, figs. I mean, these are these are nutritional powerhouses. Un right. Unfortunately, I saw the other day a a sugarless cake. With trans fat. Partially hydrogenated. Oh God. Really? And I think it was I think it was a soybean oil. Oh jeez. Oh, probably my G God. probably GMO yeah. soybeans. Yeah. yeah. I see corn oil and soybean oil all the time. And it'll say uh, trans fat free, but it doesn't say anything about whether it's GMO or not. Nope. You and know. if they're not going to be required to put it on the label, they're not going to do it. Yeah. Well, anyway, okay. thank thank you for the the uh, uh, Chinese uh, 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 colon cleansing tea and the slippers and the slippers. By the way, you see this slipper here? Yeah. It's supposed to be a ten. It ain't a ten. What do you think it is? And it compresses my foot. We took a small. Piece it's of a nine. nine. Yeah, there is, no, there is no half sizes in slippers. It compresses my foot and makes the ball of my foot hurt. Because the other slipper that I tried to fix had a hole in it from where the ball of the foot was. Ah. So it sensitized it. So now with the compression here, 
yeah. it's sensitizing it even more. And my, I can't even move my foot within the slipper. That's, That's how good. compressed it is. So if, if you have too much room, you get the calluses. If you have not enough room... No, the callus was from just wearing out the bottom of the shoe. <laughs> so I used this stuff from Germany, this patch stuff. Put it on the patch, but I got to put something inside the slipper because if the patch itself contacts the ball of my foot, right. it's like rubbing against metal. The patch uh -huh. turned into like metal. It's not good. So I got to get something to put in that, and then I'll wear that a beat up old slipper, which is, you know, it's like, it's like shirts and shoes. When they are old, they are comfortable. Well, men have a tendency to wear things until they dissolve. Exactly. You know, underwear, until underwear looks like Swiss cheese. Uh, I don't wear underwear. You know, no, I, I mean, I, I wear it, but I, I just let wear it so it's full of holes, and I, I throw it out. <laughs> I'm a swinger. The, <laughs> you mean your your pe your pendulums are always a swinging? Back and forth, baby. Your balinis. Back I'm very forth. sorry, uh, uh, viewers, if we're not being hard-hitting here. We're being a little light. But let us sink our teeth. Let us continue. Sink our teeth back into these readings. Uh, Excuse me. Yes. Well, it's good enough for Howard Stern to burp his, and fart. It's good enough for me. Bridget Harrison's column shows again how disastrous Governor Christie has been for our state of New Jersey. Oh, yeah, but according to him, he's a hero. He saved New Jersey. New Jersey is one of the wealthiest and most educated states in the country. Yeah, and most congested. Yet our quality of life is stagnating and our bond rank ranking is plummeting. And, and the job market is atrocious and getting worse. Well, I'm sure welfare doesn't understand that. If you go to a, uh, a New Jersey state or federal government um, website for job seekers that are on unemployment and you and you click on them, you know, from what I was told, more than uh, three quarters, no, actually, it was like more than, it was almost as high as 95% where it didn't exist anymore. Those jobs did not exist anymore. So why do they keep them there? It's just like the uh, government website that tells you what jobs and careers are in high demand, are marketable skills. Uh, 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 clothing design? is a high demand marketable skill i received an email the other day high high highly uh wanted job opportunities for billing and you know medical billing and, medical coding. Billing and coding yes yes they're only hiring people with like five years plus experience and uh, unfortunately it's usually women that they hire for that you know, they're not, it's not in demand, you see. Because it's a bunch of bullshit. They're put together by Mr. A stupid uh, 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 Clinton and Newt Gingrich in 1996 when they changed their welfare as we know it. You know, you know why I think they, they, they said it, it was, it's not, it's not that it was in demand. It's not that it was in demand. It's, it's that it might be very much in demand if the United States at that time would have went for the universal single-payer health care system. Yeah, but that would have been handled under, under, under Medicare. Right. It would have been Medicare for all. In other words, it doesn't, it doesn't guarantee right. that clinics and doctors and hospitals will be hiring more medical billers and coders. Right. They should. They should, but every they see, everybody should, wants the, case, the yes. Republicans don't yeah. understand that uh, their wonderful American companies want everything. They want the degree or diploma or cert certificate. They want experience. They they don't want to train anybody that they hire. They want to, you know. And and then what about the the biggest scam of all the the um, the internship 
program mm -hmm. where people work for free, <coughs> students work for free mm -hmm. every semester, every year. A, a new students go in, they get they get school credit for it, but they work for free. Mm -hmm. So between the internship and the privatized prisons that seem to be loaded with African Americans and a frivolous crimes. You know, like uh, maybe that's why they 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 don't want to legalize marijuana, the Republicans, so they can load up load up those privatized prisons for free labor. Well, that's what it started out in the '60s. Uh, free slave labor. With uh, uh, Nixon and etc. That's what they did. It was a deliberate uh, way to calm the cities down by putting those blacks in jail. Putting the rowdy blacks in jail. Okay, well, they, they it was a deliberate tactic. Right, they automatically assume that they're rowdy troublemakers. Yeah. So they were profiling. I mean, profiling. Yeah, you will see in the uh, in the new newsletter, uh, the How to Defeat a Conservative. I I do the Edwin Meese uh, porn commission. And how he was in California, where they targeted protesters. And they took their license plates, and they took yeah. their pictures, and they did this, that, and the other thing, so that they could target them, so that they wouldn't protest. Yeah, please remind me when you get up, uh, at least by by noon or 12.30, about the newsletter, please. please uh, just leave me a, a message, a reminder message. You know, because uh, I got a l I have a lot on my plate uh, at home, and uh, uh, a reminder would be much appreciated. And then I'll just uh, drop it off. But anyway, you're right. I, I do remember the Meese situation, the Meese case. Um, you know, it's it's the same religious nuts that started prohibition. You know? Christie does little. To develop and repair our rusting infrastructure, <laughs> people, especially seniors and businesses, are leaving New Jersey. That is true. I, I, I know some. I know. I knew some New Jerseyans that moved to Virginia, and mm. North Carolina. You know, Charlotte, North, North Carolina, Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. You know, these are the people that don't want to go to Florida, Georgia. You know, Atlanta is a, is a growing city. They're leaving the state, yes. In his quest for the presidency, Christie has vetoed hundreds of bills to appease the Tea Party wing of his party. These are bills regarding gun control, women's health centers, yeah, and pro-job and pro-business proposals such as the Made in America bill. Made in America? That's bullshit. They, they they ain't interested in making things in America. The Republicans. Fat chance. Yeah. What about them being? What about them spreading this propaganda about Planned Parenthood selling uh, embryo parts or baby it's parts? It's all been a sham. Baby parts. Admitted by the guy who made the video. The religious nuts. It's all a bunch of crap. Yeah, the religious nuts that are, are obsessed with abortion and, and, and a, a woman's right to choose. Obsessed with it so much they make up stories, lies about Planned Parenthood. They're still doing it. Of course, because they want to try to stop those abortions. Because they insist... Women belong in the kitchen barefoot and pregnant. They insist that the fertilized egg is a human baby. Well, that too. Which is total nonsense. That too. Where would I leave off here? Many bills had Republican support, sometimes Republicans had even taken the initiative, but their backing always disappeared in fear after Christie's veto. Yeah. <laughs> We can quickly take a major step toward overriding the irrational vetoes by electing a few more Democrats in the upcoming November 3rd assembly election. We need humane, creative, 
energetic and hard-nosed representatives who can work with others, including responsible Republicans. Yeah, right. That sounds like an oxymoron to me. Yeah, I know. Did I tell you the story about this the, this woman, young lady that called recently that wanted to do a survey with me, uh -oh. and the survey ended up uh, uh, um, bashing the uh, the Democrats running for state assembly. You know, you you eunuch. What is Eustace. It? Eustace. Him, Eustace. Eustace and La, La, Lagana or some. Lagana. Lagana saying that they're in favor of the uh, Planned Parenthood baby parts uh, selling. They were. I says. I says. I I got mad. And I said. I, I said. I see where the survey is going. I says. Tell your Republican teabagger employer. Just where to go and uh, I hung up I says I'm a Bernie Sanders man and I says uh, I says this is uh, this is to uh, to uh, uh, slander and uh, 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 demonize the Democratic candidates for state assembly yeah. that that's the job that's uh, upcoming state assembly New Jersey yeah. state assembly so I saw where it was going because it, it was constantly a a um, an expo uh, a, a um, uh, untruthful yeah, negative yeah. expose of Mr. Eustace and Lagana. There you go. All right. And anyway, uh, we need the Democrats to make New Jersey vibrant again. Vibrant. Yes. I guess that means prosperous. <clears throat> yeah. Nah, it's not vibrant at all. It's not vibrant. You know what would be really cool? If they gave a, a really good breaks to local New Jersey farming so we can be the Garden State again. Ah. Like local organic farming. Buy local, you know? Because New Jersey's still... Yeah, but all of our farmland is disappearing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Putting up all kinds of oil tanks and... Uh, Cement everywhere, asphalt everywhere. Yeah, I mean New Jersey. You know? New Jersey had or still has many f small family-owned farms and dairies. Yeah, but the one up and been around for years and years up in Demarest is going down the tubes. It's true. See, this is what happens, and that farmland gets paved over and never comes back. Oh yeah, once it once it becomes a strip mall, no more trees to you, suck up the water. Not only tree trees uh, do many great things mm -hmm. to the environment. Many great things. <coughs> change of pace. Tomato paste. Oh, change of pace. I am working as a healthcare aide. Where I am working now, I love my job. But the lady's husband is touching me inappropriately. Yeah, well, it's a lot of seniors feel that they, because they're seniors, they have the right to grope and expose themselves. I don't like that, but I don't know how to tell him to stop. Smack his hand. Say, look, but don't touch. I can't quit my job because I really need to work. I am someone who is really shy and about saying anything to anybody. Please tell me what to do. I'm freaking out. Yeah, I don't... Uh, she's got to say something uh, to maybe the children of these people. She has to say something. Yeah. This is Amy Dickinson's answer. I understand that when you are shy, it seems impossible to confront someone, even if he is doing something bad. Yeah, because you don't want to be disliked. Please tell other people about this. Friends, family members, or anyone else you can think of. The more people who know about this, the braver you will feel because of their support. It's like it's like when it, when an incident happens, you always get a police report. You always start a paper trail. 
you always have it on file to cover your ass. Same thing in this situation. Tell the people ahead of time before uh, it gets it gets out of control, and then you know they can't turn the tables on on on, on her, you know, and blame her. Part of this man's power is in the secrecy and the silence. You will take these away from him by telling other people about it, even if you can't manage to confront him directly. Yeah, the child and the senior automatically has the right of way, you know, they, 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 they believe the child and the senior before anyone else, just like they believe the woman over the man. If you work for a company, you must tell your supervisor about this. Absolutely. See, she's, she's making a big mistake. She absolutely. Your company cannot put you in the home of someone who will assault you. It should find another assignment for you. Because if she doesn't tell her, her supervisor, it will make it look like she likes consensual. the it's consensual fondling. Sexual harassment, yeah. It, whenever you are working in this home, do everything possible to avoid being alone with this man. Mm. Keep your phone with you at all times. How old is this guy? Does it say? Mm, Not really. No. All right. The number for the <coughs> National Sexual Assault Hotline is 800-656-4673. They actually consider groping and fondling to be sexual assault? I, I would think rape would be sexual assault. It is. Rape is, but it's, well, I think they're overreacting. You, like say what, you see what they do with rape. They turn it around to the victim. Yeah, but assault, uh, I mean, to, assault is a, is a heavy-duty word. For, for a grope. Well, a grope, an assault, etc. It's, it's touching or doing something to the person's body that they don't want an you un, to do. An unwanted uh, yes. sexual advance. It may not be a sexual advance. Assault is uh, supposing someone comes up to you and starts poking their finger in your chest. Well, that's that not would, sexual. That would, be, that would be somebody going into my personal space Correct. and touching me. That's assault. And then you would say, Without pepper. don't touch me. Yeah. Well, it's aggressive as soon as you enter someone's personal space. Yeah. It's an act of aggression. That's correct. But the word assault is the, the uh, carrying out the act. You know, like you said, poke, 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 poke grab, poke, grab, poke. grab, grab. Yeah. yeah. Program this number into your phone and call if you feel nervous. A phone counselor can help. You know, the, mo the most important thing is what was said at the beginning is file the report with her supervisor. supervisor. Correct. It's very important to cover her ass. No pun intended. Cover her ass. Oh, levity both. I am shocked. Shocked, I say. You are. To find out that executives at the company receive payouts, I'm going to sneeze, before filing for bankruptcy. Interesting. A and P. The Great Atlantic and Pacific. <laughs> God bless you. The Great Atlantic and Pacific Tea Company. Yeah. A and P. Well, not really. I'm sure that they were also receiving bonuses for meeting mythical target goals and a myriad of other long-term incentives such as stock options, restricted stock options, I mean stock and more. The problem is that they enrich themselves while telling the rank and file we have to cut costs. They sound a lot like Republican congressmen and senators. And that doesn't include cutting executives or their pay. 
In fact, when a CEO wrangles contract concessions from employees, he typically typically gets a bonus for cutting costs. Yeah, but but uh, but an employee wanting a living wage, a, a fifteen dollar an hour living wage. That's that is big, communism. That's a big problem. It's communism. Call out the National Guard. We got to get rid of these communists. I salute socialism and communism. Okay. Not totalitarianism. I salute socialism and communism. Top executives can get away with this because they are backed by a board that permits and even encourages it. They all have no shame. How much is enough? That a bankruptcy judge would allow retention bonuses is a disgrace. Why would you want to retain the same incompetence who rode you into bankruptcy and then paid him a bonus to boot? Yeah, gee. Well, it's, it's, it's funny how the, the corporate CEO is it's so identical to the conservative politician. Well, it all goes back to the Washington Consensus, which says everything shall go up and not down. To the consumer? Up to the 20%. All benefits of all nature, etc., etc. Well, that's what a businessman uh, okay. told me about... Um, we're having having a discussion about a, a company that purchases uh, modern computerized uh, automated machinery uh -huh. which can mass produce a product as opposed to the old-fashioned machine which does not mass produce a product and what I said is that should lower the cost lower the, and, the, and lower the overhead uh, overall and he says no no that doesn't mean it will lower the price of the item Oh, I says, yeah, because if you're greedy, if you're a greedy scumbag, you won't lower the price. No, but if you're an ethical businessman... It increases the profit margin. That's, that's probably how he was looking at it. Yes, that's what they do. Increases the profit margin. Did you see that uh, video the other day on Facebook about that, that machine that cuts the tree down? And then yeah. divides it up into... Uh, oh, yeah, it, it's a robot. You know how many men are out of business because of that thing? Paul Bunyan and all the lumberjacks are out of work. No more lumberjacks. It's an automated, self-propelled robot that cuts the tree down, shaves the branches and the leaves off, processes the log, and stacks the log in a pile. So, Paul Bunyan, <laughs> you might God as well go, to, go with your blue ox. You, you might as well take your blue ox, babe, and <laughs> and go join a retirement community in Florida and play shuffleboard or whatever the hell they do yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, checker, <laughs> play checkers because lumberjacks will be out of work because yeah, the right. robotics will replace humans in many, many occupations. You know, you just better hope they can't think and reason for themselves and then turn on us. Uh -huh. Yeah, but but yeah, but so so if a, if a businessman is honest, he would say, yeah, you know, mass a quick mass production of my product should lower the prices for the consumers. But if you say no, then you're just a greedy fuck that wants to increase uh, his or her profit margin. Well, it's, it's yeah. clear with that jerk who bought that the pill. <coughs> you can see it. I mean, that's what they do. They, they do it because they can, because they are not regulated. That's correct. And, and, and this is why not only regulations are important, but consumer organizations are important too, to, to blow the whistle on people. Ooh, that's a union. We don't like unions. I salute all unions. May you regain the power you once had and more. Ah. Donald Trump said on Sunday that if he falls in the polls, he will drop out of the race. Yay! Yippee! 
I am not a masochist, Trump said <laughs> on NBC's Meet the Press. Meet the Depressed. And if I was dropping in the polls where I saw that I wasn't going to win, why would I continue? Please drop out and take that horse face Fiorina with you. Trump remains ahead in Iowa and New Hampshire, but his lead has shrunk in the past month, according to the NBC News Wall Street Journal Marist poll. Well, has anybody investigated that Pope Francis photograph of kissing the hand of the Rothschild Not that I know of. and Henry Kissinger? I heard nothing further. The Rothschilds. That that makes me want to remove every image of him from the Heroes Hall of Fame album. I, I have nothing. I, I don't want to have anything to do with that man ever again. If he real, if that was really him, that kissed the hand of the wicked. Uh, Rothschilds. Speaking of Carly Fiorina, <coughs> although two thirds of minimum wage workers and three quarters of low wage workers are women, right? Carly Fiorina is against worker a, a raise in the minimum wage, except for her salary. She collected $100 million during her six-year tenure at Hewlett-Packard, laying off 30,000 U.S. workers. HP broke U.S. sanctions and sold millions of dollars of computers to Iran on her watch. While aggressively opposing legal abortion, Fiorina agrees with the Supreme Court ruling that allows corporations to deny insurance coverage for contraceptives. She opposes the Paycheck Fairness Act, which would help close the gender pay gap and cut the poverty rate in half for working women. No, they don't want to cut the poverty rate in half. They want, the, they want those desperate slaves. Exactly. You see? In her argument to defund Planned Parenthood, she described a 19 month old stillborn fetus as an aborted fetus being sold for body parts. Is a false propaganda uh, uh, video? The video was doctored and had absolutely nothing to do with Planned Parenthood. When confronted about her blatant lie, she doubled down and continue to lie. I think certain Asian countries roast uh, um, fetuses and eat them. How do they do it? How do Republicans find women who are against helping women? Yeah, Fox News is low to it, aren't they? Yeah. Now, being that the the holiday seasons are approaching. Upon it. Um, the, uh, I put up a banner that I've seen before, uh, but as a reminder, yeah. uh, think really hard before you donate to your favorite charity. Because... Don't donate to any of them. You'll be shocked. You'll be shocked as far as just how much of the dollar actually goes to the worthy cause and how much the uh, uh, fundraising charities president or CEO the blood-sucking parasites that they are are making off of your hard-earned donated money and don't give a penny to goodwill ever all of them fail ever March of Dimes the March of Scams actually March, March of, of Dimes, Dimes used to be great years and years a, a, a ago. goodwill uni United uh, I mean um, uh, United American Way. United Way, American Red Cross, every one of them has m miserable, greedy, blood-sucking CEOs making a fortune, and every one of them has these uh, so-called administrative costs. Uh, you know, charities should have volunteer employees because it's a charity, it's a fundraiser. 
a few, it's like almost a few cents on a dollar. That goes to the cause. That actually yes. goes to the worthy cause. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, uh, 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 plus, you know, with the, with the Catholic charities, the Catholic Church is, is worth billions, right? Yep. Well, why should, why should we donate to their fundraiser when uh, most of our money won't go to the children? Why should we have to feed the children while they are multi-multi-billionaires? Why can't they feed the children? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. And and and, and when and, and and talk about the evangelicals and everything. What about all these uh, TV evangelists, mega church uh, crooks? What they what need do new cars and planes to get around, what, man? What do they donate to? Who do they help? Themselves. Do they donate? Do they build uh, a shelter for the homeless? Do they donate money to the soup kitchens? Hap. Uh, uh, What's the uh, something you know? Habitat for humanity. Habitat for humanity. Yeah. Just built a house for some woman, right? Yeah. Poor woman. Right. But the mortgage is going to be a thousand dollars a month. How the hell can she pay a thousand dollars a month when she's poor? I mean, granted. So who the hell cares about giving her the house for free? Granted, there are tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of empty foreclosed homes but you think the banks are going to set up homeless people no, no for for free of course not first of all you got to eradicate poverty in America the the right way not not giving breaks to companies and corporations that do not create jobs in the United States that's not the way to go <coughs> Raising more tax revenue from the corporations and the, and the rich is the way to go. And like you said, the best idea might end up being, you know, if it's under a, a, a democratic socialism, would an be annual income. an annual, a basic annual income for all, yep. as well as education and, and, and uh, health care being free. Because yep. uh, it's going to get to the point where... Well, the, the, there's no jobs out there now. There's 97 million really? people who want to work in America and don't have jobs today. And people with awesome That's resumes. That's almost one third. People with awesome resumes too can't find work. Yeah. And, and 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 what about the people who gave up? Like Bernie Sanders said, there are there they're, they're they're not counted in the figure. No. The people who have given up searching. Yeah. A man accused of inappropriately touching two female <coughs> Ryder University students while they slept in their dorm rooms faces numerous charges. Ryder <coughs> University? He wanted the girls to ride him at Ryder? Oh man, I'm fucking funny. Lawrence police told NewJersey.com that John Cannon, 24, Frank Cannon? was arrested on Friday. William Conrad? No. John, oh, John Cannon. He was charged with criminal sexual contact for allegedly touching a student's breast. Breast. On September the 27th. Yeah. And harassment offensive touching for allegedly touching another student's shoulder. Oh, they're making a big thing about a shoulder touch? I think, they're going, I think it's getting out of hand. You know, honestly, you know how it is now? If you're a man and you're, you, you, you have a job and, 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 and even if you ask a woman out that you like, she could turn around and complain about you. And get you fired. I mean, it's getting out of hand. This this is too politically correct. In me. both instances, authorities say Cannon fled when the women woke up. They were asleep when he touched the shoulder and the breast. Big fucking deal. 
Well, he shouldn't have touched them at all. But well, he shouldn't have been in their room. Why was he creeping in their room? He was looking ah. for a little little booty, little booty ah. call. A jury has convicted a Rutgers University professor of sexually assaulting a man in her office. Now, nobody really complains about that. Really. Well, that. somebody must have. And you know what? They arrest uh, uh, female teachers for seducing yes. young boys. Yes. But let me tell you something. You cannot traumatize a teenage boy. He, he will thank you for the educational experience. Thank and, you, thank And you. he will have a, a load of fun. A, a load, yes. A he will load. have a load. Hold on, where's my bells? He will have a loads of fun. And, unfortunately, he will tattletale and brag to all his friends who, who will in turn tell their parents and then it'll, it'll get back to the principal of the school, blah, 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 because my hot-looking teacher seduced me and I banged her. And that's it. that is the problem. The loose lips sink We haven't gotten the ship. full story yet. Sink ships. Okay. The Essex County jury returned yeah. a guilty verdict on two counts of aggravated sexual assault on Thursday against Anna Stubblefield. Stubblefield? Does Stubblefield she, she, is 45. Does she shave her pussy? Stubblefield? Oh, the Bells have seen a lot of action today. And had contended during the trial that the 34-year-old cerebral palsy victim consented to the sexual activity oh, the by communicating through assisted typing on a keyboard. They're disabled. Very disabled. Oh, like not. something like Stephen Hawking. Oh, now this, now, now this story uh, uh, is different. Ah! Uh, this is the drama. Is see, you went off on a handle no, there. Because you got you didn't me get all. The full story. You got me all excited. Uh -huh. Stubblefield, and, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. and now I'm finding out these poor souls are very, very handicapped, uh -huh. disabled. No, 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 no. She, she, she's a, she's a louse, man. She's a louse. They're very vulnerable. Doctor Bill. Presidential politics. Okay, we're off that other subject. Is as easy as it. Well, there's not so much to say after that. Right. After that my, conclusion, my you Bill's know. Bill's seen a lot of action today. <laughs> Uh, presidential politics is as easy as ABC. Even the skeleton is dancing. Even he's happy. Anyone but Christie. <laughs> well, not all that easy. When you look <laughs> at the field of candidates in general, it has to make you wonder. Some bash women, Mexicans, Muslims, and the poor. Bash women? The contenders look at social programs for health, education, and people in need as pariahs. Wow. The espousal of, of religion is used as a cloak when spouting angry and mean platitudes. Whatever happened to the tenets of America regarding freedom, justice, and helping those in need? You see, Amer Americans, Americans have a habit of scapegoating their problems and they need somebody to blame, but they're, none of them blame the real culprits for their problems, which are the ones up there in Washington, the ones that they put there. Mm -hmm. They blame, it's easy to blame gay people uh, minorities of color, immigrants, you know, it's easy to blame all these people, poor people, homeless people, you know? You're talking only like 1% of the total budget. 
but they scapegoat, but they never blame who really is responsible for their plight. There are more than 300 million people in the United States. Why is it so difficult to find a handful of people to run for the presidency who can espouse the best sentiments of this nation and show intelligence, kindness, courtesy, and compassion? Oh, there is one. There is one. His name is Bernie Sanders. Feel the burn? And perhaps even some dignity. That's Bernie Sanders. Feel the burn. Dignity. Inter integrity. You know, all, all the above. All the, yeah, 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 yeah. the qualities of, a, of an all-around decent human being. Uh-huh. <sighs> Last one? Yeah. Donald Trump's long-awaited tax plan oh, gosh. would end income taxes for Americans at the bottom of the earnings ladder. That's what he says now. It hit Wall Street in the wallet and scrapped some popular tax breaks. Not, a, not if it's a consumption tax or a flat tax, it's not going to help the little guy. Assuming he gets it through a Congress that has shown little stomach for tough choices, his plan would seem to add to the federal deficits and the debts. Yep. Trump unveiled his plan on Monday at a news conference saying he'd collapse the current seven tax brackets into four, 25%, 20%, 10%, and zero. And he'd take away favorable tax treatment for some managers of hedge funds which pool money to invest for the super wealthy. Anybody at, at the poverty level of whatever the fuck it is, 25,000 25, five, five, or, or, or less should be in the zero tax rate. Zero. Yeah. yeah. They should not, a, a, a person make, a person working in McDonald's or, or any minimum wage individual should not pay any Income taxes. What about a guy who's unemployed, not on unemployment insurance? They're fucking taxing that. Should he be paying taxes? No. Absolutely no. With, with the, with the but he is. But with the peanuts that they give him, they call that income. Yeah. 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 And if you win the lottery, <gasps> oh, the welfare sure wants to be paid back. You know, you know, the gentleman Steve called me. Uh, uh, and said the, the the welfare system in in, um, in northern New Jersey has not paid him his uh, his uh, cash assistance. Everybody it, it got food stamps, but they did not get their whopping one hundred and forty dollars a month yet. And 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 and, and welfare admits is a glitch. Uh. Really, there's a glitch. Ha! Ah, I think it's deliberate. I think it's something. That wouldn't put a pass to Republican Chris Christie doing. Trump would take away the favorable tax treatment for some managers and hedge funds. I said that. A single earner with annual income under $25,000 or a married couple filing jointly and earning about 50000 would pay no income tax. Sounds reasonable. Some 75 million households, according to his published plan, would be removed from tax rolls and would get a one-page tax form to send to the IRS. See, the true consumer is the little guy, the poor and the middle class. The true consumer needs more money in their pockets. Yeah, but from, so that he can give the breaks. To the wealthy. Well, how do Same you, thing where do you get the tax? Where do you get you the revenue? You give a little bit to the jumbalones on the bottom, and they don't seem to care whether you give more to those on the top. But, how, but under that system, how do you raise enough revenue to run the country? You it, don't. It, That's why it's, he did, it, it said it will add to the deficit. I mean, if you're and it, the debt. if you're not making the rich pay their fair share, 
but you, don't get but the you want to give big, huge breaks to the to the poor and the and the lower middle class because that is lower middle class. Yeah, two people making fifty thousand is lower middle class. If you're going to give them huge breaks, and then you're going to give the rich huge break, huge, yeah. huge breaks, will the people in between? I mean, there work, won't be enough money. Where you where are you going to get the revenue? Be. It won't be enough. It will provide major tax relief for middle income and for most other Americans, Trump said. There will be a major tax reduction. It will simplify the tax code and grow the American economy. Oh, really? Is he, uh, well, providing he penalizes uh, outsourcing. Tax experts said on the face of it, Trump's plan would provide relief to lower income earners. It certainly will provide some relief for some people, said Eric Toder, co-director of the Tax Policy Center, jointly run by the center-left think tank Brookings Institution and the centrist Urban Institute. People without kids will get a tax cut. Trump's plan would save about $1,000 for single filers earning up to $25,000. For married couples, it's more complex. It always is. Trump's plan would create savings for those without children and without joint income of up to $50,000. If they have children, they already pay little tax on top to $50,000 of income because of the credits and exemptions. The Trump tax plan would also lower the corporate tax rate to 15% from the current 35%. Bad idea. See who's benefiting there, don't bad, you? Bad idea. He, yeah, he wants to make sure him and his buddies are con will continue to get the tax breaks. Yes, indeed. No, it's no good. No wonder Jesse Ventura changed his mind and said he didn't like he didn't like his tax plan but in doing so it would end popular deductions Trump offered few additional details the four-page plan offered no overall cost estimate nor estimates for how much it would cut or raise debt and deficits it wasn't paired with a plan to cut spending we appreciate Mr. Trump's willingness to talk about offsets and his emphasis on the importance of not adding to the debt. But with the detail we have here, it's very difficult to see how this plan will close enough loopholes and tax preferences to offset his proposed tax cuts. Well. Despite his popularity, he is running as a Republican, and he is a multi-billionaire, so you cannot expect uh, him to be a Bernie Sanders, not by a long shot, but he is entertaining, and I do thank him for providing me with entertainment. Uh, people don't forget to watch the first uh, Democratic uh, 2016 campaign debate this Tuesday. I am sure it will be in the evening. Oh, uh, yeah. uh, Prime any, time. Any particular station? Is no, you'll probably get them on all. Unless Fox doesn't want to carry it, of course. They won't carry it. They carry the Republicans. They're fair and barrels. Oh, that, that insane asylum? Yeah. That, that was like, that, that was fun. They carried the both of them. That was very entertaining. Uh, Watching Republicans duke it out is very entertaining. You know, and uh, watching them fight, and uh, well, the, the the best part is Donald Trump exposing their asses. That's the best part, and the, the thing with Megyn Kelly, you know, <laughs> misogynist, you're a misogynist. <laughs> I cherish women. Cherish, I cherish he women. cherishes their their pussies. <gasps> mm. Cunning Lee, he's a cunning, uh, cunning. He has a degree in cunning linguistics. Okay, thank you for joining us for Progressive Discussions. 
We'll see you next time. Uh, feel free to join our new Google group called Progressive Discussions. Um, because there's just way too many glitches and just too much drama with Facebook, unfortunately. There's no up, um, email address that I know of where I can contact Google and say, hey, you let me, you let me, uh, uh, you let me dress up my my Google profile. You let me dress up the YouTube channel, but you, you won't let me dress up the Google group. It's just plain old content. It's 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 a snoozer. I like it. I, I like to at least put a front cover on it. But anyway, you can see uh, with big corporations. There is no way to personally, they arrange it so you cannot personally contact them. Well, they don't want to be bothered with your little trivialities, they, my friend. Well, in their opinion, yeah. Well, of course, they're the boss. Because you're one of... You made them the boss, you did not? You are one of multi-millions of people. Like, in other words, there are pre... It sends you to a page with pre-made questions and answers. Pre-made Q&As. And you have to find to see if your topic is in there. And then if your topic is not in there, they'll ask you on the bottom, was this helpful? Oh, yes. And, and, and you'll either say yes or no. If you say no, nobody gets back to you. No. Even if, even if they allow you to tell them why. I went shopping about a week or so ago. Right. For some vitamins. Right. And they were out. The particular company was out of the vitamins, so they said, well, give us your e email address, and when it comes in, we will notify you. Well, I waited a few days, and I had to pick up something else, so I went shopping again. Lo and behold, the original things that I went there for were there, but I received no notification. See, when things are on back order, uh, out of stock back order they're out supposed to send you a yes. a notification that it's in stock in other words they will lose sales they and will not lose only money. that when I went to the page where these particular yeah. vitamins were that I ordered it actually said it would notify me when they come back in stock now the problem with that is what if you would have went to another company and purchased it I did that already with another company they lost money so of they're course. hurting themselves their their of incompetence course. is hurting themselves yes but it happens oh absolutely so I don't know what the hell's going on absolutely it definitely happens there just seems to be a whole lot of incompetence with businesses today Mm. There's, a, you know, it's a, 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 they just hire, they don't hire the experienced, qualified American. They, uh, they outsource, they, you know, they pay cheap, and this is what they get, and the consumer suffers. That's about it. But we'll see you next time. I'm suffering. Well, the consumer, you know, what is it? The consumer suffers, but you know what? You're not obligated to just deal with them. You know, yeah. you you go somewhere else and they lose money. Yeah, but if I had a regulation to put them on the right path, that would be much better. I mean, you should tell their customer service, says, hey, you may, you never let me know. You know, so anyway, bye-bye. This has been a Mega Life 21 production.